Hi friends, this is Bilal Haider and this is my fifth video lecture on MQL4 programming. In this video, I'll be talking about operations. There are different type of operations which can be done in MQL4 programming. In this video, I'll be talking about the arithmetic operations only. Although there are other operations as well like logical operations and assignment operations, relational operations and others as well. In this tutorial, um, I'll talk about the arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and others as well. So first of all, let me um, talk about the addition first. In this MQL programming, you can add uh, two or more than two numbers um, by doing uh, this, uh, which I'll be uh, writing just now. For in this tutorial, I'll be adding three, two numbers only. So first of all, uh, we'll declare we will declare two variables. The first one we call it a, and let's assign it a value of 32. The second variable is also an integer type value and integer type variable, and let's call it b and set it equal to uh, 24. And the third variable. Uh, which uh, is called which we'll call it sum and we'll put a zero in it so um, before I add these two numbers and display the result I must tell you something that um, all the operations um, can be done within a certain function it cannot be done outside here right we cannot do a sum here okay we must do it inside some function so we'll do it here we'll just write sum equals to a plus b and this thing um, will uh, take the value of a which is 32 and the value of b which is 24 and add them together and the result will be stored in the variable sum here it is equal to zero but um, after uh, doing this operation this addition operation the value of sum will be changed to the um, value of a plus b so let's see what what is the value right now but we can check it by calling the alert function and put the variable inside the bracket now we'll compile it um, and check uh, if there are any errors so there are no errors in this case we have compiled our code now let's see what uh, what is the result for checking the result we must um, attach or ex expert advisor to the chart so let's go to navigator expert advisor and look for our our expert advisor which uh, we call my expert and drag it to the chart and click ok when we click ok it will alert us the value 56 and that is indeed um, the sum because 32 plus 24 equals um, 56 we can also do a subtraction in the same way we just uh, change the sign and we can subtract the value from a to b and store the result in the sum we'll compile it again and the result is now 
also um, in the same fashion we can uh, do um, multiplication and division so to multiply um, two variables um, we don't use this sign but rather we use this static sign the static sign um, does the multiplication of the two numbers so let's see what what is the result compile it and uh, there it is 768 is the result also uh, in the same fashion we can uh, divide two numbers and also we can um, take the modulus of the two numbers the modulus of the two number is the um, remainder um, of the uh, number uh, let's say when you divide a divided by b the remainder of uh, the division um, is the modulus of the <coughs> numbers so let's see what's the modulus and the module is, is A. We can also um, sum uh, any variable to a number like that. And we can also do it like that, 5 plus A. And we can also add more numbers as much as we want. Compile it and you will see the result. 61. Okay. <coughs> this is very basic um, of uh, arithmetic operations, but they are of um, they are of uh, much importance because will be adding subtracting our lot our lots and the stop loss values and take profit values and we'll do uh, lots of uh, arithmetic stuff in our expert advisors so you must understand this basic concept of uh, operations so you can um, Try it by yourself, do several examples, um, use formulas and different things like if I um, do um, like sum equals to A multiplied by A plus B multiplied by B. Um, then let's see the result. The result um, is not appear because um, we must use the alert function uh, right after that to uh, alert us the result. So here you see it is 1600 and that's correct. That's all for the arithmetic operations. In next video I will be talking about logical operations so thank you for watching my video see you in the next